idea of false balance. Um, uh, like I said, I've I've uh, written about this in my in my books and some articles, and uh, I saw so much of this in in the coverage that um, you know again it made me think. Well, journalists are still kind of relying on this, right? Uh, this notion of that reporting should be he said, she said, right? Um, uh, for example, there's a, a, a very good article from Gay Tuckman from the 70s where she was researching, uh, uh, she was doing uh, ethnography in a newsroom, um, and she noticed the, the, the habit of journalists, right? Uh, that, for example, many claims made by sources can't be verified quickly or easily, and government sources are de facto more credible than other kinds of sources, so it's very easy just to get a comment from a politician, right? Um, and if a politician says something, right, if a government official says X, uh, a, a government official says A and X said A is a fact, right? Trump said you should drink bleach and that's a fact. So you report Trump said you should drink bleach and then experts disagree that you shouldn't drink bleach. And then you have he said, she said, you have a balance, right? I um, mean, and like the, some examples I gave before, reporters were still doing this. Um, and this gives the impression that all claims are equally valid and there are no facts in politics. All these, you know, these are many criticisms that academics have had about using this, this false balance over the years. Uh, and they were, and journalists were still doing this again. Um, for example, uh, <laughs> um, New York, uh, this is from a month and a half ago, uh, Trump suggests lack of testing is no longer a problem. Governors disagree. He said, she said. Trump says it's not a problem. Governors disagree. We don't know the answer. We don't know the solution. We're just journalists, right? Like, they should fact check this. They should do more investigation and figure out the truth. Is it a problem? Is it not a problem? But instead, it's just much easier just to give this kind of a, of a headline. Uh, and then you can pump out stories much quicker, right? Um, and somebody on Twitter, I, I didn't, I don't have a source for this um, because it was just something people were sharing on Twitter. They went through and edited this and said, this is what the headline should be. Lack of testing is still a problem. Governors, um, governors and experts, right? Governors and experts say testing is a problem. Trump refuses to accept that it is a problem, basically. <clears throat> right? Uh, Trump says he hasn't heard about testing despite facing public questions about testing every day. Right? This is the kind of, of headlines that we should be writing, right? Following the, the rules that, that we had before from first draft, right? Don't repeat the myth don't balance a lie with, with the truth, right? Or with the majority of people are saying this, right? Uh, and again, this is not a new thing. Journalism has been doing this a lot for, for climate change and, um, and, and many issues like that, right? Some people say m climate change is caused by men and other people don't, you know, when obviously the, the, it's not that balanced, right? So this is creating a kind of a false balance, right? Um, another story just, just from a couple days ago, um, Senator Rand Paul, who had, who had uh, coronavirus, right, um, said, uh, he said since he already had coronavirus, he could not contract it again or spread it to others. Uh, so that's why he's walking around without a mask and, and, and not doing social distancing. He says, well, I had it, so now I'm immune, right? Claims that experts say are still unproven, right? So he says he's immune, experts say he, we don't know. Right. Well, again, you're repeating the myth. He says that you can't contract it to others. And as far as we, you know, this claim is unproven. So we don't know if you can contract it, if you can spread it to others or if he can contract it again. We don't know that because the data is still out and there's not enough information about that yet. So that's what they should lead with, right? Ron Paul may be exposing people and maybe exposing himself to spreading coronavirus. Maybe he's carrying it and spreading it to other people. It's very dangerous, right? This is the, the lead that you should start with, not he says that he's immune because he doesn't know if he's immune, right? He's a, he's a doctor, okay, but he's not, the scientific community does not know if we can get immunity for this. So it's very misleading to balance it like that, right? Um, or just from yesterday, which is kind of a big story now, right? Um, the Wuhan lab at the center of the US-China blame game, what we know and what we don't know, right? So because Pompeo, the Secretary of State, says there's enormous evidence, that is the framing for the, for the story and we're trying to balance it. Well, let's see, he says that it is, other people say that it isn't. Let's, you know, 
it's just, you know, this, it gives people a very false impression about, about what's going on. And again, it doesn't help people really learn more or understand more about it or, or save lives or anything like that, right? Um, now, the next aspect I think is, it bugs me every day.